As I follow guide Dick Dodds, an elk hunter soon comes to the realization that nothing is ever easy about elk hunting, and that's probably a good thing. Right over there. We gotta, we gotta keep the wind in our nose. We better stay on top. If we don't stay on top, then we're gonna lose them in the brush. But elk have a way of disappearing. What happened to them cows that were on the side? Where'd they go? With no answer, you climb back into the saddle and ask your mule to do the impossible. I'm riding Sassy. John is aboard Honeybee, and Dick is on a mule named Ambrose. Another trail, another climb, snow falling like a white sheet. Nothing bothers a mule. I could be just laying over an Ambrose, but see, the wind's right here. I think they're down below us someplace. We knew the elk were close, but they knew we were close too. Oh no, here's your ball down here. Suddenly what began as a slow stalk turned into a frantic snow slide. Come on, come on, come on. Here. Right here, come in, come in. I got it. The ball's on the top. He's on the top. See him up there? The high one. Yes, how far is it? Sit on your butt. How far is it? Hurry. Even in death, a bull elk keeps its majesty. I mean, how old do you think this guy is? I don't know, he's probably three and a half. You know, yeah. he's got the big body. My hunt over, my elation was as high as the mountains as my trusty mule carried me out of this theater of elk. If only for a few days, I was witness to one of nature's magnificent and unforgettable moments. Now, I had a moment and a mule to remember.